So in the previous video, we learned how to pass a single template, a single template to our client using the response writer to write the template to our client. And we also learned how to name our template. Uh, we gave this message.html a name, greeting fragment. Uh, if we open it up, here's our greeting and we named it greeting fragment and we passed that. We also passed this home.html file as a full HTML bodied uh, template. But in this video, we're going to learn how to pass multiple templates. Yeah, we're going to be passing more than one template. In fact, we're going to be passing three. We learned, we're going to learn how to pass multiple templates and the two different strategies that we're going to be using, that we can use to pass multiple templates. So uh, to begin first, let's create our templates. Let's create our templates. So we already have this home.html, which we're going to be modifying a little bit later. Uh, but first, what we, we want to create two fragments. So we want to create two HTML fragments. One will be the header for this um, for this home.html full page. And the other one will be the page's body. Yeah, so we have the page header and the page body. And we're going to import them into this home.html. And we will be able to pass all those templates and return them to the client. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is create our header. Let's create our header. So I'm going to call that page underscore header dot html. Page underscore header dot html. Uh, this will just be uh, h1 and it will say welcome to our website. Uh, let me just put my name. Yeah. So welcome to our website. Okay. So I'm welcoming myself to the website. And we're going to give this a name. I'm going to give it the name. So we do double curly braze, define, and we'll give it the name of header fragment. Header fragment. So this will be our header. And uh, I'm just going to close that with end. With end. So this is the header for our website. Welcome to our website, Fikayo. Uh, define header fragment. So we have that in place. Next is going to be our page footer. So the page underscore footer dot html. Oh, not footer body, page body. Let me rename this. Um, I think there's another example coming up that will have a footer, but this for now is body. So we have page body, and for page body, um, it's just going to be uh, an article element. And inside the article element, we have an h2. That will say introduction. Introduction. And we'll just have a simple paragraph below it. And that will say this is an introductory paragraph about our website. Introductory paragraph about our website. Okay. Save that. Now um, let us name it. So double curly braces, define, no, define. And we're going to call this main content fragment. Fragment. Main content fragment. And end it here. So this is going to be the body of our website. And we've also created a header. We've also created a header. So the next thing is going to be the home.html template. Uh, let me grab the view too. Okay, home.html. And inside here, let's put this to the side. We're going to import our two templates. We're going to import our header and we're going to import our body. So we're going to start here um, to be semantically uh, correct. So this is header. <laughs> the header uh, tag. Now to bring it in, to bring in a template into another template, you do your double curly braces, then use the template keyword, say template, and simply bring in the template by calling the name. So here we say header fragment. Header fragment, uh, let me make sure that the name is correct. Just, just going to copy it to double paste yeah 
know that yeah i'm good edit fragment so we'll bring it in with the template keyword and we just pass the name so we have our header our header is going to be loaded here that is what is in our header template is going to be loaded within this header tags so the next we're going to say main i want to use the main tag and we're going to use it to bring in the page body the page body so let's go to page body copy what the template name is and pass it here so template main content fragment then below this let's have a footer yeah that's where the footer comes in so the footer we're just going to add code the footer into the uh body and put this aside um so inside our footer what should we say uh contact us at let's have a mail link um let's see a uh the href mail to contact at example.com example.com okay and um yeah inside there we'll just say contact at example.com we save that so what have we done here uh we we factored our home.html file that's our home.html template and the first thing we did was to bring in the header fragment yeah brought in the header fragment with the name header fragment then we brought in the main body with its own uh, fragment name also we brought in the main body uh inside these main tags then we just add coded a footer so that's all good let's save that and now to load this to load this we need to load all these templates we need to load all these templates because if we don't have all of them loaded we will not be able to just return the home.html file so what do we do we already have past files here so what we need to do is to make sure that every single file that we want to load that's our um home.html page body.html page header.html we want to make sure that all of them are passed into this argument this pass files function we pass it all our templates so let's go ahead and do that uh first let's say home.html then the next one is page underscore header dot html and the next template is page underscore body dot html let's go body dot html so let's save that so we have the three of them passed let's save that and um here down here let's just say um execute template home dot html home dot html so say execute template home dot html now if we had used execute let's say we just use execute execute is just going to execute this first template that's what it's going to do it's going to execute this first template but execute template gives us the ability to specify the template that we want to execute so we want to use home.html because we didn't give home.html a name we didn't define a name so yeah i just want to, i just want to leave it that way so we use um, home.html if we are giving it a name we can just use the name here so let's save this and run the application save um go to our command line let's restart the application no errors means everything is fine now let's go to um chrome and now we currently have hello learner because we are loading the message.html template initially but now when i refresh this page boom yeah i have everything <laughs> i have the full home.html template so we have our these are header that is welcome to our website Fikayo. Uh, we have our body which is this introduction header and also this introduction text and we have our footer which we had coded contact us as contact uh at contact at example.com if we view the source we can see all our html loaded in in their full glory how cool is that so um, you've seen how we been able to load multiple templates we are using multiple templates to load this single page and we've been able to load multiple templates also we've been able to um 
import templates into templates. Yeah, we've been able to include templates inside of templates, which is very, very useful for reusability. So, uh, yeah, cool. Learning more about Go templates. Now, there seems to be one um, issue with this current approach. Um, let's go back to VS Code. Let's go back to VS Code. Now, we're loading three um, templates and we have to list all of them. We have to list all of them. What if um, we don't, you know, what if we have like 50 templates? <laughs> do we, do we, would we have to list all of them here? Nah, that is going to be very, very cumbersome. That's going to be very, very cumbersome. So, in this, uh, uh, in the next example that we're going to be doing right now, we're going to look at how to just pass all the files, uh, pass all our templates using a, using an expression, using something that looks like a regular expression, pass all our templates using a pattern. Yeah. Use pattern matching to pass all our templates. Uh, because with past files, you know, there's so much we can, there's only so much we can list until we get really tired and everything gets very, very ugly. So we're going to be using another function, another function of the template library called pass glob. We're going to be using pass glob and uh, pass glob allows us to use that pattern matching, uh, strategy to load all our templates. So how do we do that? Um, first let us remove all this. Let's move all this. We're going to change this to pass glob. Yep, pass glob. That's a new function that we're going to be using. And what we're going to tell pass glob is this. Go into a templates folder that we're going to create and just pass everything inside our folder with the .html extension. Yeah. Go into a templates folder that we're going to be creating because definitely we'll need folders to organize our templates to make them much more sane, to make our directory much more sane. Then just anything that has the .html extension, you see I use a wildcard here, anything that has the .html extension, just pass it. So we do that, let's save this. Then let's go here and create that templates folder. Now you can give the folder any name you want. Templates is just a preference. So templates folder. And what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to move this, this, and this, uh, basically everything, but uh, let's leave this out. I'm going to move this three into the templates folder. Now VS Code asks me, do I want to move them? Sure, I want to move them. And now they are all inside this templates folder. They're all inside the templates folder. So now, I have all the templates that I need to load my home.html, including the home.html itself. I have them inside this templates folder. I can keep adding more and more to this and be loading them as uh, needed, different ones. I don't have to load all of them at a time. I don't have to execute all of them at a time, at a time. So uh, at a time, rather, I don't have to execute all of them at a time. So I can have as many templates as I want here and um, also define other sub levels of organization. So let's put this aside. So we'll use pass glob to load everything. Now let's see if everything still works. Let's save this. Uh, go to command line and rerun the application. Now let us come here to Chrome and refresh. And yes, everything still works. Yeah, everything still works. Everything still works fine. We're using pass glob now and everything still works. Uh, if I change, just so that we can see something change, if I, let's say, go into my header fragment and change this to, from Fikayo to student, save it, uh, go back to the terminal, we run the app, go to Chrome, and now it is a student. So, this is now using pass glob. It's now using pass glob, it's not using pass files. And if I say, okay, you know what? I just want to load one single template. Uh, let's say I want to load my message template. So I move my message template into the templates folder. Yes, code asks me if I want to move. Yes, I want to move. So all my templates are now in the templates folder. And I go to main.go. And I say, instead of home.html, just uh, return message.html. Just, just pass message.html instead. If I do that and um, 
we run the application. Then go to Chrome. I should have just that, but I'm not having it for some reason. Okay, for some reason I'm not having it. Let's go back. Um, let's see if we let's use the name. Maybe because maybe it just wants us to use the name. So I'm going to say greeting fragment. Um, then I change this to greeting fragment. Let's save that. Uh, let's rerun the application. And now, um, I'll go to Chrome. Refresh. Yeah, it just, because I've defined the name for it, it just wants me to use the name. Yeah, Go can be very opinionated like that once in a while. So, yeah, that's another thing we just learned here. So yeah, you can just execute one single template out of all the templates that you loaded. You don't need to execute three templates or two templates at once. So with this, uh, we've been able to see how to pass multiple templates, execute uh, a template that has other templates loaded inside it, and also execute a single template.